Saruto was standing on the Konoha training field, trying to curb his two dojutsu, the Sharingan and the Jogan. No matter how hard he tried, he could not apply the power of the Sharingan and the Jogan at the same time. Hello, Saruto. What are you doing? Father, what do you want? Are you still trying to overpass your grandfather, Sasuke? You want it all at once instead of going in it gradually, am I right? So what? Grandpa Sasuke was a great and consummate shinobi. I would be honored to be just like him. He easily controlled the power of the Hinnigan and the Eternal Mangekyo Sharingan. Yes, you're right. But you're not him and you will never be. No one in this world can become the new Uchiha Sasuke, just like a cat become Uzumaki Naruto. I am me. And you are you. Again you mentioned grandfather who was the 7th Hokage? Why was he even called the strongest Hokage in the history of the shinobi world? He didn't even have dojutsu. All these rumors about his greatness and power are probably just empty words. Don't get me wrong dad, I respect him and his power. But not the rumors that everyone who's lazy is spreading about him. I see. You know, now you're just like me at your age. I didn't understand why they called my father the Hokage. I was just as surprised as you were when they called my father the strongest Hokage. Because he's just an old man who is always filling out paperwork in the Hokage's office. But... But... What? Why didn't you say anything? I'm just remembering the moment when I changed my mind about my father and saw his true power. At the time I was amazed that such a powerful person could even exist in this world. He easily fought Momoshiki Utsutsuki and dominated him in both hand-to-hand -hand combat and speed. What? Defeating Utsutsuki? I'll never believe it. Well then, see for yourself. Boruto used an illusion on him and sent him back to the days when he himself, with his own eyes, saw his father's power. And it was very hard to believe what was happening. Without any dojutsu, Uzumaki Naruto dominated Momoshiko Tsutsuki and literally stomped his face into the ground. Naruto Uzumaki had a hard childhood. No one from my or your generation can fully understand it. In those times, Naruto had a monster inside and everyone used to hate him, but he didn't give up and had a dream to become Hokage. He sacrificed his life so many times and didn't even think about himself, only about friendship. Only about his friends, village, family, and etc. That's what it takes to become the Hokage. And your grandfather is a true hero. My father was a very strong shinobi. He was the hero of the fourth shinobi world war. And the one who united all five great countries. Even the previous Kages paled in comparison to him. And all of this he achieved through hard work and training. He never retracted his words and only went forward. This is what made him the man he eventually became, the strongest Hokage in the history of this world. Your mother admired him even more than her own father. That's how tough and strong he was. What did he have to go through to be that strong? Through hell itself. He learned a lot and lost a lot along the way. Unlike you and me, he didn't know what it was like to have parents. His parents died right after he was born. He was a vessel of the nine-tailed fox demon, and because of that, all the village despised him and called him a demon. But even so, he never gave up and only went forward. He can't control the power of your eyes, and he couldn't control Biju's power, except that unlike you, he never complained about it. Even though he suffered because of that power, he hurt not only himself, but also the people around him. Do you see the difference, son? Yes. I do. Naruto Uzumaki was pretty cool. So what did you decide after seeing all that? I'll stop complaining about everything. And one day, through hard work and hard training, reach the same heights as my grandfather. I'll always remember what you just showed me. Thank you, Dad. You're welcome, son. I look forward to the day when you succeed. After this day, Saruto understood Naruto's past and what he has been through to reach the level where he is now. Sitting on the practice field, Saruto ate breakfast sandwiches that his mother, Sarada, had made for him. Suddenly, behind him, he heard the hustling of leaves. He turned around and saw her. She is Mobushiki's younger sister. Naomi, what do you want? I came to talk to you. Yeah? What about? 
about your eyes, or rather about the power that is hidden in them. No, that's it. What are you trying to tell me? This won't be news to you, of course, but you're a very unique person. Even your ancestors weren't. So, um, what's your point? To unlock your potential, you possess Jogan, the Eye of a God. Their power surpasses even the Rinnegan. It is limited only by your own imagination. This power is unparalleled. You are literally a god, in childlike form. Okay, I think I'm starting to understand you a little bit. Go on. Every day you get stronger and more dangerous for everyone, including yourself. If you don't learn how to control that power, it will not only destroy you, but also the rest of the world. Are you saying that I'm a... A nuclear bomb? Exactly. For example, the powers of these eyes include controlling life and death. Okay, stop! What do you mean, in life and death? The power may be in the eyes, but it's not limited to using them. You can let the chakra out even though it's inside of you. It's the same here. The eye is the source of that power. So it's in my power to decide who lives and who dies? In time, when you unleash the full potential of these eyes, you can literally do anything. I like that already! That sounds great! I mean, so one day I'll be at Otsutsuki's level? What about you? Are you strong? And what kind of relationship did you have with your brother anyway? Well, to make a long story short, not really. We weren't like relatives. My brother was always arrogant, and never said anything nice. He treated me with disdain and looked down on me. But all of that was because he cared about me, and the only thing he wanted was to make me stronger. But you know that Momoshiki is inside my father, and you can't beat Boruto or something like that. I don't think that you're that strong. I know that without you, and my intention is not to fight your father, but be his friend. Okay, let's forget it. What does the Otsutsuki clan want anyway? Domination. They want to possess absolutely everything. That's why they travel the worlds and plant chakra fruit. They want limitless power, no matter how many people die in the process. I see. In other words, sick aliens? Yeah, something like that. So, by all means, I must learn how to control the powers of my eyes and become the one to end all the tyranny of the Utsutsuki clan. Hmm. Yeah. I'll show them that there are gods on Earth as powerful as they are. Hello? Are you Boruto, right? Yes, I am Boruto Uzumaki. Who asks? I am Yomi Otsutsuki. I am from Otsutsuki World, and I came here to talk with my brother. Naomi Otsutsuki? Wow. It's been a long time since I saw the Otsutsuki other than Momoshiki. Nice to meet you. Naomi, she is my little sister. Let me talk to her, Boruto. Okay. S sister I missed you. It's been a long time. I was going to come to the Otsutsuki world to take you here, but it was so dangerous because of other Otsutsukis. Take me... here? But you wanted to destroy this planet and take power from it, brother. Why did you change your opinion? Yes, you're right, my sister. That was my main goal. But I changed my opinion when I got into this human's body as a karma. Every negative feeling which I had came from the Utsutsuki world. I was happy when I was a kid, but they forced me to be violent and I couldn't do anything to fight with it. This villain in me was a character which I was using to hide my real nature. And here on Earth, in Konoha, I found myself. Around these guys, I feel really happy. Boruto showed me what I really wanted in my life, and I am happy to have an opportunity to live with him. For real, brother? This is very good. And I feel so happy for you. I still can't believe that you escaped from the hell and came to the Earth. Hello, Boruto. Who is this kid? 
This little kid is the sister of Momoshiki, and she came to Earth to help us and live with her brother in harmony. Is she an Otsutsuki? Well, sounds great. She can't stay, obviously. What do you think if you can take Suruto and Naomi in one team and be their sensei? You are old enough to have your own team, son. That's actually a very good idea. Since Boruto got Joga and Naomi is in Otsutsuki, they are perfect fit for my team. Jogen? Does he really got Jogen? What is happening with these guys? How did they get this power? I got good news for you, Boruto. Something new happened. What? Tell me, Sarada. What is it? What happened? This is very good news. Are you prepared for it? Y yes, of course I am prepared for it. Tell me. What is it? Why are you playing with me? Yes. I saw the doctor today, and she told me that I am pregnant. That's... That's very good news, Sarada. <laughs> I can't believe it. I will become a father. This hurts. I can't stand it. This hurts so much. Little bit more. We almost got it. Stay strong, Sarada. We almost got your child. He is so beautiful. He will become a legendary shinobi. What is the name of the boy? Soruto. Soruto Uzumaki. And this is the story of Soruto's birth. And at that day, a legendary shinobi called Soruto was born, who will become the strongest shinobi of all time. One day, Soruto was in Naruto's office and found his old jacket, which was dirty for overusing, and he took it. In the meantime, Naruto and Sasuke appeared in the room. So, Soruto, do you like it? This thing is so dirty. But I really like the design. Is this yours, Grandpa? Yes. That's mine. I was using it in your age. And it's so dirty because I was training very hard with it. He is lying to you, Soruto. I used to beat his ass in our childhood. And that's why it's so dirty. Grandpa? Did you only have this jacket? Nothing more? Soruto. Your grandparents had different childhood than yours. I can afford everything for you. But they didn't even have parents. They didn't? But I know that Naruto's father was Minato Nabikaze, legendary shinobi and yellow flesh of Konoha. They died in the day I was born. And I had to grow up with Kurama inside of me. And that's why everyone used to hate me. I was alone until the moment when I earned respect by proving impossible things and saving village multiple times. So you didn't have anyone who could buy clothing for you? And you only had this jacket? It wasn't like that, Soruto. <laughs> when I was a child, only few people loved me and believed in me. One of them was Jiraiya Sensei. Yes, yes, I know him. He was the richest ninja of all time, and he was one of the legendary Seni. Yeah, that bastard was rich. But still, he was making me pay every dinner. So he was like a father for you, Grandpa? Yes, exactly. He taught me about Rasengan, and trained me during years. He also bought me a new jacket too when I was older. And with that jacket, I fought in the 4th Ninja World War. Where is he now? He... He is dead. He sacrificed himself for the peace of this world. He was a legendary ninja, who took responsibility of raising me when no one wanted to be around me. He taught me the meaning of being a ninja and purpose of the life. He is one of the main reasons of peace in this world right now. You and your father are living in a peaceful world where there's no war between the five nations because of him and many legendary ninjas like my father, Sasuke's big brother, and etc. Wow. I understand it, Grandpa. But what about Otsutsukis? There are still many villains who are trying to invade in Konoha. Yes, you're right. But without these ninjas, the world would already be destroyed. And we wouldn't even have a chance to fight for peace against Otsutsukis. Yes, Naruto is right. Without our heroes, we couldn't even survive. By the way, you mentioned Sasuke's brother. I know nothing about him. Can you also tell me who was he and what he did? Yes, of course, Soruto. He was a legendary shinobi. While on the training field, Soruto waited for the moment when his father, Boruto, would finally start his training. 
Um, well, sorry. I can't make it today. I got very important stuff to do. Once again, I got sent in a new S-rank mission. What? Are you serious, Dad? I wanted to train with you! Come on, don't be sad. Today, Grandfather will train you. Suddenly, Soruto heard some rustling behind him. Turning around, he saw Naruto. Grandpa! How glad I am to see you! I am happy to see you too, Soruto. So, let's begin the training, Soruto. Alright, let's start! Right. Let's start with the Rasengan. Right off the bat, I can tell you the technique was created by your great-grandfather, my father, Minato Namikaze, who was the fourth Hokage. He created this technique based on the tail bomb. The training consists of three steps, rotation, strength, and restraint. If you complete all these stages, you can learn the technique as well. Wow, that doesn't sound so easy. Yeah, it's not really. You should know how torturous my training was. Yeah, but I learned that jutsu by just observing my dad. You must be joking, Soruto. No one can teach Rasengan by just observing the jutsu. You sure? Look at this then. Naruto was shocked to see Soruto making legit Rasengan, and he already understood that his grandson had more potential than himself and Boruto. Then I can teach you a new jutsu. If you're able to combine this with Rasengan, you will have power equal to my and Sasuke's childhood combined. Are you serious? About which technique are you talking about, Grandpa? I am talking about Chidori, but I will need help of Kakashi and Sasuke here. Hey, hey, hey! Don't skip yet! How do you like the animation? As you can see, we are creating new characters. One of them is Naomi Otsutsuki. It would be interesting what you think about this character and if you would like to see her in the future. The most interesting thing all about this animation is that you can be a part of it. I mean, you can share your thoughts with me in the comment section or even send me ideas about new episodes of Soruto or something else. I will try my best to make it happen. In this animation, we talked about Naomi and Soruto. Naomi is a little sick of Momoshiki. She lived in the Otsutsuki world, which was like a hell for her, and wanted to come to Konoha to search her brother. Finally, she came to Earth, met her brother, and talked with him. Naomi was very surprised when she found out her brother changed a lot after living some time on Earth. I guess Naomi felt so good after knowing her brother isn't mean anymore and have no bad intentions. Naomi knew somewhere deep inside her that she doesn't belong to the Otsutsuki world, because not everyone wants to get all the possible power and do mean things. For some people, living in peace is everything. They are even ready to leave their home and family if it's necessary. When Naomi met her brother and found out he's happy on Earth and he doesn't want anything but living peacefully, even Naruto and Boruto are okay with Naomi and Momoshiki. Everything is different here. Now they can see clearly when you're not mean and treat people with respect. Everyone wants to be friends with you and they treat you with respect as well. We will see more and more animations with Naomi and other new characters. Now, let's talk about Soruto and his potential power, or even his future as a shinobi. I think Soruto's future and current life is totally different than Naruto's and even Boruto's life. In his era, everything is advanced. Everyone is experienced in everything. Jutsus are advanced and all the great techniques are on the best possible level. We have never seen yet, but I'm sure in Soruto's era you can find people like Amado or even smarter ones who can create and change everything. Due to this, for Soruto, nothing is a big deal. Even his father and grandpa are way more experienced than before. I mean life experience, not only jutsus and power as a shinobi. It's hard to imagine how life was in Minato's era. Even Minato himself had to create Rasengan because it never existed before. In Soruto's case, even Rasen Shuriken is advanced and he has a possibility to learn from his father and grandpa. Even Naruto never had opportunities like this. He never experienced what it's like to have parents or even grandparents. Lots of things are depending on Soruto. He's going to be smarter and stronger one in his bloodline, but meanwhile, enemies are stronger than before, so he can't be a lazy and spoiled kid. He has to realize he is an Uzumaki, and Okonoha's fate is on his hands. If he gets lazy and doesn't work on new things, I'm sure enemies will do all the possible things to destroy Hidden Leaf Village. Can't wait to create new animations where will appear new characters and 
we'll see Sorito's interaction with them. I'm waiting your thoughts about this in the comment section. What do you think, guys? Can Sorito create any new technique or jutsus? If answer is yes, how advanced can it be? Can he surpass Otsutsuki's? I think it's possible with new technologies and with teamwork. Without teamwork and powerful comrades, it would be impossible. After all, nobody can win alone against that powerful opponent. This isn't going to be one-man show. Also, Sorito has to learn how to work with a team, share everything with them and more importantly, lay down his life for them if it's necessary. That's going to be his ninja way. In the animation, we saw how Sorito gets interested about Naruto's old stories. He even took Naruto's Zod in dirty uniform and asked him about this. Sorito is surprised after hearing all the old stories and how bad life was before. He is shocked with the fact that Naruto couldn't afford more than one uniform. It's great to have people with you who have experienced everything and can teach you what they saw. When you have such an experienced father and grandpa, life gets pretty easy, huh? Well, after all, I think Sorito needs one more thing in life. And he gets a whole pack of great things. That thing would be a sibling. Which one would you like to see? A sister or a brother? I think having a brother would be more than great for Sorito. He will experience what is true brotherhood. Now, he's an only child and he doesn't have to share anything with anybody. Let's see if he gets selfish after having a sibling. Please guys, don't be shy to share your thoughts with me in the comment section. You're more than welcome on my channel. All this content is only for you guys. I hope you like the animation. That's it for today. See you in the next one. Bye bye!